Hi, we're PumpClever.com and we are here to share with you guys a review of Schwinn Mini Frame Floor Pump. On a deserted island, a cyclist would probably take two things, his bike and portable bicycle floor pump with glueless puncture kit. An essential accessory, the pump finds its place in the workshop as well as in the field, whatever the discipline practiced. Punctures, tire changing, re-inflation or pressure gauge adjustment, the bicycle pump is continuously being pressed. This accessory, to last in time and offer every chance to adjust the best of its mount, must be chosen carefully. The little pump is the ultimate workshop pump. It offers efficient inflation thanks to its large volume of air while reducing the effort required to reach the desired pressure. Its design makes it pleasant and easy to use, well set under the feet of the user, and it is stable. Its comfortable handle allows for a good grip while the long hose ensures easy access to the wheel, whether the bike is on the ground or a repair stand. Finally, the rod and the body of the pump, large diameters, stiffen the hole. Allowing for precise inflation thanks to the built-in manometer, the foot pump usually has several tips for mini bicycle air pump compatible with Presta Schrader valve and sports ball. Finally, note that to install tubeless tires, new types of foot pumps are emerging, they contain a reserve of air under pressure. Once filled manually, this reserve releases in a fraction of a second a large amount of air in the tire. The effect is guaranteed, no need for a compressor. The road bike tire pump is ideal for the terrain because of its small size and lightness. The most compact models can measure only 15 to 25 centimeters long and weigh only a few tens of grams, thanks to the use of carbon. Suffice to say that these pumps offer great freedom and find their place in a small backpack, a jersey pocket or on the bike via a specific attachment usually coupled to that of the bottle cage. Made of plastic or metal, they have an exact pressure gauge and a hose to connect to the shock absorber valves that are sometimes difficult to access. First of all, it is better to check that the pump is compatible with the valves used. The current bikes are mostly equipped with Presta valves, and Dunlop to a lesser extent. Rarely, an adapter is not available to switch from one to the other pipe. In mountain bikes, with the fashion of tires of large sections, a significant volume pump will be very appreciable. Also, a mountain biker who uses tubeless or tubeless tires must be able to quickly send a large amount of air into the tire to slam the tire, a pledge of active assembly. The operation is sometimes possible with a hand pump, but not always. In any case, it will be much easier to achieve with a foot pump. The accuracy of the manometer also comes into play, some tubeless tires with high volume, in MTB, can go down very low in pressure. A gap of a few psi can radically change the bike's behavior. Also, not all manometers are equal, the larger the dial, the more precise the marking. On a foot pump, it should ideally be placed at the top to remain visible during inflation. Finally, the weight, the size, and the ergonomics must be compared. A foot pump undergoes a lot of mechanical stress, so choose a solid body made of steel or aluminium. Likewise, a metal foot peg will have a longer life than a plastic foot. A large volume foot pump, possibly equipped with an additional air tank for tubeless tires, reliable, stable and equipped with a precise manometer. It is permanently stored in the workshop or the car. A small hand pump completes it, to repair in case of puncture on the ground. Competitors will prefer a CO2 pump in the field, faster but the cartridges are for single use. In the workshop, a high-pressure pump also ensures a precise adjustment of the air suspensions. An essential foot pump allows you to inflate your tires from time to time efficiently and without running out. And for commuting to work, a small hand pump in the bag will help you overcome a puncture. With the bike lock, the bike bag, and the bicycle counter, the bicycle pump belongs to the cyclist's accessories. The mini pump has the advantage of being transported on the bike, but the inflation is quite long and imprecise. It is therefore dedicated to using and troubleshooting. For secure storage, maintenance and repair, the bike pump is removable. Foldable, it fits easily in a dry place, in the trunk of a car, for example. If a part is worn out, the cycle stores offer replacement kits to replace the components. A right pump can be kept for many years, only changing worn parts. This pump will be your most used tool, both to inflate the tires of your bikes and to control their pressure. It must reach a weight of 10 bar comfortably, 
to be able to work with all types of bicycles and to be able to inflate the tires quickly. There are also electronic inflators. They are specially designed for quick inflation of bicycle and car tires. The air gun inflator, for example, inflates tires in just two minutes and is compatible with Schrader and Presta valves. An integrated digital display shows tire pressure. The Schwinn Mini Frame to Floor Pumper Pedestal Pump with Frame provides a folding foot for easy pumping, and the extension tube facilitates switching between the spokes. The T-handle offers excellent maneuverability and grip to inflate tires quickly. The easy-to-read gauge prevents the tire from overtaking or falling beneath it. The aluminium housing and steel piston shaft make this lightweight pump reliable for any application.